What's going on, everybody? My name is Noelle Bolt, and welcome to Latest Issue. In this game, you play as an urban explorer who has found some place that he probably shouldn't have found. Matt Known, under the pseudonym Urban Ghost, is a popular blogger specializing in exploring abandoned places. He was always looking for new locations for his videos. One day, he heard about old tunnels under the city, which were originally built as part of an ambitious metro project. However, construction was suddenly stopped and the tunnels were abandoned. Local legend claims that strange things happened there, and some people who ventured to explore these tunnels disappeared without a trace. Starting off really spooky now. How did we even get here? Did we really take the elevator? I don't think I would have trusted that. Turn on the headlamp. Oh yeah, we've got a headlamp. Okay. Ooh. I don't like that. Okay, I guess that's locked. I've been watching a lot of true crime videos relating to, um, like, mishaps that happen in mining accidents. So this is very fitting for my current, uh, fixation! Hello! Why was somebody there? Holy cow! Somebody needs to stop shaving their beard right now. Ah. Uh-uh. Hello. Uh-uh. Nope. What are you doing here? Nope. No, 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 no. Okay, you're just a suit. You were just a suit. But you did not sound like you... You didn't sound like you were just a suit. Okay. Well... What's that sound? There's wood and there's pipes and there's metal everywhere and I don't like it. What's this say? It says... May 30th, 2005. Strange and inexplicable events occurred today. We were digging tunnels at a depth of about 300 meters when it all started. At first, these were minor troubles. Strange sounds coming from the depths and slight twitching of the tunnel walls. Um, if the tunnel walls start twitching, I'm leaving. No one attached any importance to this, considering it to be ordinary equipment operating noise. But after a few hours, things got much worse. Things are already pretty bad. Several workers began to complain of severe headaches and a feeling of dizziness. We thought it was due to lack of oxygen or carbon monoxide, but our meters showed normal levels. Then more alarming symptoms began. People began to hear voices and see strange shadows. Some claimed to see old friends or relatives who had died long ago. Oh, I didn't realize I could zoom in. Dismiss! Um, I think we should get a pickaxe and just start getting to work. Wait. Oh no, that was rocks falling to the exit! It's bad, I'm sure there must be another way out of here. I don't know! Oh! Thank god we have a headlamp. Oh my god, and now that's unlocked. Oh, and there's nowhere else to go, so we have to go this way. That's it, right into the creepy red mist. Holy shit! Am I being electrocuted? Oh, stop that, stop that, stop that. What's in the water? What's in the water? I don't like that it's red. Why is it red? Who puts red lights in a tunnel like that? <gasps> Somebody is breathing too close to me. Unless that's me gasping for air. I don't really like what's happening. I'm also very confused, because everything looks the same, and it's very dark down here. Can I go this way? No, that's locked. Okay. Ooh, what's this red button do? The door is de-energized. I have to start the generator. Assuming that the generator would still work after so many years. 
Does it even have any gas in it? Okay, well, there we go. I have to find gasoline to run the generator. Okay, again, assuming that the gas hasn't, like, vaporized and... Or hasn't just gone completely bad. Or assuming that there's any gas down here. Why did... Gas is expensive. If I was one of those miners, I would have just taken all that with me. Okay. Like, they literally packed up and freaking left. This way. Got any gasoline for me? Holy shit! Why are you here? Like, where'd she even come from? Oh, who left the snow in the toilet? Uh, to date, three people have been hospitalized with acute mental illness. Make that four. No one can explain what is happening, but fear is beginning to take over us all. With constant pressure and working in the dark, it begins to take a toll on our mental health. I ask management to pay attention to these cases and take measures to ensure the safety of workers. An investigation must be carried out to understand the reasons for what is happening and prevent further cases. We are on the brink, and if nothing is done, the consequences could be catastrophic. And you know, that's something that watching those videos that I've been watching about the mining incidents, it, literally mining companies back in the day, like I'm talking like the 60s, 80s, all that, they literally did not care about mining conditions until something catastrophic occurred. And then they were like, mm, yeah, I guess we can maybe care about the people that are providing us our wealth. I am very confused. I don't think I need to go back this way. But also, I have no idea. Let's see, I'm trying to find gasoline. And I've not found gasoline yet, but I have found some mental illness. I bet you I can go here. Yep! Jump scare unlocks the next way. Oh shit! Lucky for you, I have headlamp. Luckily, I have a purse. Oh, I can see my body. I didn't realize that. That's so cool. Oh, sick! It's just a very convenient gas can right there, and somehow it still has gas in it. Alright, I'm coming for that generator. Generate me, daddy! Okay, now I can go press that red button. Hello? 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 Can I not do anything? I just put- oh wait, do I have to start it? Oh, yeah, I just tried the generator. <gasps> Where'd your head go? Oh my god. Dude, they just are coming out of nowhere and everywhere all at once. Okay, we've got the generator running. Okay, we have energy. That's it? That was it? What? I so wanted there to be more. That's crazy. That was good. That was so good that I want more. It was so short. Like, that's okay. That's okay. It gave me a couple challenges, some pretty good jump scares. But I would have loved for that to be longer. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Noel Bolt, and I will see you in the next spooky one. Bye!